back to my channel. So today I am doing a back to school natural makeup look. I posted a poll on Instagram and I had two options and you guys chose the natural back to school makeup look. So that is what I did because obviously you guys requested it. So this is what it is and it's so simple, so easy. And if you guys want to see how I did this then continue watching. So you're going to have this makeup on all day. You do want to create a barrier between your skin and the makeup so you don't break out. The face cream that I'm using is this Lotus Preserve, Lotus Youth Preserve face cream. I got it as a sample, but I might invest in it just because, first of all, it smells amazing. Oh, you can, can you see that? Oh, there we go. First of all, it smells amazing, and secondly, it has helped my skin a lot. This in the morning and in the nighttime, whenever I wash my face and stuff like that. This is definitely something that you want to do for wearing makeup all day long so that you don't break out. And now, secondly, what you want to do is create a smooth base for your makeup and also make your skin look smooth under the, under the makeup. So what I'm using is this Photo Finish Foundation Primer from Smashbox. Mine is the pore minimizing one just because I feel like my pores are big and this is oil free because my skin is oily and I don't want to add any more oil onto my face. So I just squeeze a good amount onto my finger and then I put it basically in my t-zone area because those are the spots where my pores are most visible. Now for foundation, it is up to you on whether you use full coverage, a BB cream, medium or light coverage, but I am going with the Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 300 because that's my summer shade. Foundation is a medium to full coverage, it is very buildable, so it's up to you on, like I said, what you prefer. I'm going to squirt some of this on the back of my hand, just like this. and. I'm going to use my finger to put it in the spots all over my skin. For concealer, I'm actually going to use two of the Fenty Beauty foundations mixed together just because I like the way it feels on my skin. Powering off. Oops. <laughs> so I don't have a concealer that's my shade right now and I haven't got the chance to go out to the store and buy it. So I'm mixing the 190 foundation with my 300 foundation from Fenty. And I just do one pump of each onto my little I have a little spatula thingy I mean whatever it's a board and I'm just gonna take on the back of my brush and pat And I'm taking my beauty sponge and blending that in. Now I don't I'm I haven't been using a brow pencil. I've been using the pomade from Anastasia. Um so this is what I'm going to be using, but this you could build it up until anything, like however dark you want it, however bold or whatever. Um, but I'm just going to fill them in how I've been filling them, like filling them in, because this is how I always do my eyebrows. But I'm using the shade medium brown and the Anastasia Beverly Hill brush in number 12.
don't want to set my skin because this foundation dries down a lot and I don't want it to look like cakey or anything like that. To give a little bit of bronze to my face, I'm going to go and grab the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. And I'm going to grab this middle shade right here, which is called Shadow Play, because I feel like this goes best with my skin. So this is one side. And we always clean it up. So don't worry if it just looks a little too much. This is just great because it doesn't make you look all one color. It gives your face some definition. Browns up my nose very little. I take the slightest amount of powder and I'm just gonna use the airspun one and on this type of small fluffy brush i tap off the excess and just go over it so it's not so harsh and then i just go and clean up the bronzer a little bit and then wipe it off my face because i don't want it to sit for a really long time since we're doing a very natural look, I'm not going to do any eyeshadow, but I am going to take the same bronzing color that we used from the Shade and Light palette, and I'm going to sweep that across my eyes very lightly, just so that my eyes have a little bit of definition to them. But it's nothing crazy, it's literally just grabbing some with the brush, applying a little in the, the crease, and... And you'll be done you could take for a little something extra the shade the lightest shade in the palette and just take your finger and rub it across the eye to brighten up the eyelid a little bit you don't have a very thick like pair of lashes um, you can take eyeliner and just do the top of them and just keep it very simple but my eyelashes are pretty long and they're pretty thick so what I'm gonna do is grab an eyelash curler and apply some mascara I'm going to be using two mascaras, so the first one that I'm going to be using is the Telescopic Mascara from Maybelline. Oops! L'Oreal. Um, this is one of the greatest mascaras ever, honestly. It adds so much length to your lashes. It's crazy. Like, look at that one. mascara I'm using is the Colossal Volume Express Cat Eye Mascara from Maybelline. This one's from Maybelline. And we're just gonna apply a little extra. I feel like this really thickens up the lashes a little bit. And then I use it also for my bottom lashes. You want to have your makeup last all day, so you definitely want to grab a setting spray. I'm using the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray from Urban K. So we're just going to spritz the face, and then we're going to apply our highlighter, and we should be done. Boom. The highlighter I'm using today, just because it's my favorite basically right now, um, is the... Mary Illuminizer highlighter from crap the bomb cosmetics <laughs> so just for a very like subtle natural glow I'm doing that right on the cheeks there cheekbones
use my finger and do the inner corner of my eyelids and especially if this is for school this is gonna make you look so awake For lips, you could use multiple things. You could use one of those lip glosses that peel off, like a lip stain. You could use a nude lipstick, but I'm gonna be using a gloss. This is the Steve Laurent, whatever, I don't even know. Um, lip, lip gloss in Orchid. So this is basically it for the natural back to school makeup. Uh, this is really simple and it's gonna take me like five minutes in the morning because you know I'm not gonna be speaking. So yeah, this might be my go-to look for school. My bun was a little lopsided this whole video. Looks a lot like my lazy day makeup, but I think we can all agree that sometimes every day is our lazy day. Thank you so much for watching, and if you guys want to see more from me, then check out my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, and my Facebook. Uh, I always post content on there whenever I'm not posting on YouTube. And you guys could also leave me a like, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell so you guys get notified when I post another video. And, um... Yeah, leave some comments if you guys want to see certain videos from me. I know a lot of you have been commenting that you want to see, um, like, my makeup collection. Collect, coll wow, I can't talk today, but I know a lot of you wanted to see my makeup collection. But right now, the way I have everything set up is not that great. So I'm waiting till I get everything organized to do a video like that. Um, but I promise you that will be coming. For now, just leave uh, makeup requests or if you guys want to get see a get to know me uh, question and answer whatever it is just leave it down below and then I will get to the makeup collection part yeah I will see you in my next video bye